Hello all, Paul Bear here. Just yesterday, Korean developer NCSoft announced it is removing the automated combat and movement feature from its upcoming flagship PC and console cross-platform MMORPG, Throne and Liberty. The reason provided was due to user feedback from the domestic beta South Korea helped this May. The removal of automated combat and movement system is aimed to improve static combat and boring growth. This is also the most requested feature removal from the beta test community which claim will help improve the game. NCSoft further added that Throne and Liberty is a game where players can immerse themselves in by manipulating content and upon reflection on this principle, decided to go ahead with the removal. Hence, with the switch to manual controlled combat only, the new version will allow for movement and combat to be executed at the same time. Other new elements include skill shots, which players control the direction and target, increased skills for new players to use, and also reducing the time which players acquire new skills, among others. With the overhaul of the combat system in Throne and Liberty, NCSoft decided to make some tweaks to the weapons system as well. The dual weapon system remains a core feature which will not be touched, but will have a new function which allows for free weapon combinations without restrictions. Passive skills of weapons are said to be adjusted and also an increase of sources for players to gather material to craft new gears. Other changes for the upcoming new version includes the reduction of monster farming required for character growth, increasing quest experience rewards, expanding party dungeon content, and reducing level up duration to reduce gameplay fatigue. NCSoft stated that some of these changes will be included in the upcoming technical test held by Amazon Games for the Western server, which begins next week. The link to the Western server of Throne and Liberty, published by Amazon Games, can be found in the description box below.